This is a tutorial designed to help you learn how to navigate your Blackboard page in order to successfully complete your online course. First, you need to go to iCampus at www.icampus.ilstu.edu. Once you get to that page, enter in your ULID and your password. This will take you to your personal iCampus page where you can find your personal information. On the iCampus page, you will see an area for your Blackboard courses. Click on the online course you're taking. This shows you what your course page will look like. The course content button at the top left takes you to your home page, which is where we are currently located. We'll go through the rest of the tools here in the toolbar. Next is the announcements tool. When your instructor creates an announcement to send out to you, it will show up here. Next is assessments. Assessments are web-based forms that allow your instructor to gather information from you, whether through graded quizzes, self-tests, or surveys. Below the assessments link is the assignments link. In the assignments link, these are more non-web-based things, so attached files, files for you to upload and those sorts of things are located under the Assignments tab. It's less of a web form and more of a place where you can upload Word documents, PowerPoints, and the like. The next tool is the Calendar. The Calendar allows your instructor to put certain events on there for you to see. These can be things that are due or they can be when certain units are due to be released for you to be able to access. You can see you can look at it by the month by the week or by the day. Next is the discussions link. In the discussions link you can see all the topics that have been posted so far. Discussion topics can also be posted in other areas throughout the course to link back here to the main discussion area. Learning modules is where the majority of the course will take place. As you can see they can be organized into units. I'll click on one to show you what it looks like. When you click on the learning module, notice first that over here your left hand toolbar just goes to icons. If you don't remember what the icons stand for, you can click on these arrows and that'll bring back the words for you. Next you'll notice a pane here that has numbers. These are the numbers of the different things that you can experience as you work your way through the learning module. You could use it as a table of contents and go to any one of these by clicking on them at any point in time. Learning modules can contain all sorts of content. They can hold Word documents, PowerPoints, videos, links, discussion links, and other things as well. As you see, you can click through this and sometimes you'll be taken to an external web page. Sometimes you'll be taken to a discussion link but they all can be jumping off points here in the learning module. The next thing we'll look at is the mail tool. It's important to realize that this mail tool is only operational within this specific Blackboard course. It doesn't go between your Blackboard courses and it's not linked to your overall university email account. You can use it like you would any other mail tool. You could create a message, you can create a subject, and you can use attachments. Also, you can use the Browse for Recipients tab to click on and email your fellow classmates. You don't need to know their email addresses, you simply need to know the names of the people who you wish to email it to, and you can select them from this list. Next we have the syllabus link. Here depending on which browser you use it may open within your browser or you may have to open an external file and there you can open this and see the information for the course next we have the web links tool this simply gathers all of the links from the entire blackboard course and puts them in a list it's rather unorganized though you might want to just use the web links that are within the learning modules in order to experience them in a way that will make more sense with the course material. The Who's Online tool allows you to see who else is currently online. 
and the My Grades tool allows you to track your progress in the course. As the instructor releases grades for different assignments, they will show up here so you can see how you're doing. One important thing to note about Blackboard is it does operate with pop-ups from time to time. So if you have a pop-up blocker on, you may be unable to access certain materials. It's recommended that you check your browser for pop-ups and shut those off for the Blackboard site. This concludes the Blackboard overview. Good luck with your online course.